Hello YouTube, Bowtie Media here with a fresh cut. Uh, today we have got another round or installment of This Week in EDM where I go over songs that came out this week in EDM and put them into categories that are very subjective on my opinion. Uh, and uh, that's it. So we've got 22 songs this week that I wanted to talk about. A ton of variety, a ton of very big tracks this week, and so let's hop into it. Uh, first off, there are no songs in the trash category, nothing I thought was really, really, really egregiously bad this week, uh, but there is a couple in the bad, so let's hop into the bad category. First up, we've got Family Affair Dance For Me by David Guetta. Uh, I do not understand why people all want to create that uh, Good Boys Medusa slap house sound. It's this weird commercial house blend of slap that just doesn't make sense. I don't get it. The vocals are meh and the song is just bland. I I don't like it. I don't get it. Up next, uh, <laughs> a faded, slowed remix by Alan Walker. Yes, Alan Walker made an EP where he slowed and pretty much slowed and reverbed all a bunch of his songs. So uh, this is the faded version. Uh, so if you want to, if you really love Alan Walker and you love slowed and remixed or slowed and reverb remixes, go listen to the EP. Uh, otherwise, uh, yeah, this song didn't need it. Uh, it. It's not one that needed it and or should have got one, but it got a slowed remix and uh, the original song isn't bad, but this version sucks. Uh, as we move on to the meh category songs that I thought were just meh, maybe you like them more than I do. Uh, Feel That Way by Nonsense featuring uh, Fawn? Fawnia? Uh, I didn't really feel anything from this track, to be honest. Um, not too impressed with uh, Nonsense as of late. Uh, this track was just a little dry, and their style that they're going for, it, it kind of looks like there's some project in the works. A couple single or a couple tracks have been released uh, one after another, and this art is all the same, and I, I don't know. It just I'm not liking the sound from them, so... Uh, up next, we've got Loop by Martin Garrix, Dallas K, and Sasha Alex Sloan. Sash Alex Sloan. Uh, we've got another generic kind of slap house with hints of Martin Garrix's, Martin Garrix's signature uh, synth sounds. Uh, but otherwise, the whole track was pretty underwhelming, uh, as has been Martin Garrix as of late. Other than, uh, I guess, a few songs here and there that I've enjoyed. But. Up next, we've got Forgive Me by Slushy. Uh, there, this is track four of a 15-song LP coming out on Dim Mac in September, uh, late September. And so I still don't like his vocals, though. These singles I have not been impressed with, but this one I think is the best sounding of the four singles so far. Um, but uh, yeah, the synths just sound so weak on this. So that's, that's my biggest gripe with this track. As we move on to I Follow Rivers, Deep Sea Baby by Darren Styles and Hicksay featuring uh, Jell Van Dale. Uh, pretty generic, happy hardcore track here. Uh, vocals were actually really solid and I really liked what um, Jell, GL, I'm not sure how to say that exactly, did. And uh, yeah, hardcore, happy hardcore, hard style isn't really my jam. And so uh, if you like it, you'd probably like this one quite a bit. Up next, Burn by Timmy Trumpet and Show Tech. Uh, not gonna lie, I probably had unjust expectations uh, in the bad way about the song, just knowing Timmy Trumpet and Show Tech's uh, discography. But uh, this isn't too bad. It, it is a very s commercial sounding slap house track, but um, in the end, it really it wasn't that bad. It wasn't as egregiously painful as I expected it to be. And maybe, maybe it's just my right, non right size expectations, but not too bad. Up next, we've got Ringtone by Volant, uh, Luna Lenta, and Cookie. The final song from Volant. Uh, Volant has announced that this is the end of this alias, and so she's not going to be doing any more tracks on, I guess, Volant. But uh, sadly, this one really wasn't anything special to me. Uh, I didn't feel like it's some grand finale track. I don't know if it was even meant to be, but uh, it's just a chill house song with, like, it's good-ish. Like, it's, for me, it's just, man, maybe you'll enjoy it more, but. As we move on to Double Take by Task of Black featuring Jess Benko. Uh, Task of Black is back, other than his last single, with this kind of pseudo acoustic electronic sound uh, that I'm used to hearing, but uh, this track is a little repetitive. It's it's not bad, but it is definitely a little repetitive, and upon, uh, I listened to this actually three times in a row. I don't know why. Maybe that's why I thought it was really repetitive, but uh, it was just like, wow, I've this, this song just goes, so my opinions on that. And then we've got Sky by Starseed featuring Known As Nat. Uh, chill track with a subtle house beat sprinkled in. Uh, I feel like Starseed as of late is leaning more towards the commercial sound rather than their more kind of niche soundscapes that they've had in the past. And so I'm not loving that too much, uh, but still, um, st still a good song. 
to move into the good category songs that I think are pretty solid. Uh, and so we've got Melting Bismuth by No Taker. Uh, no Taker DNB is a very welcome surprise whenever it happens. Um, great production quality, uh, but a little bit of nothing happening kind of throughout the song, I find. Uh, but I, I love the quality and uh, DNB hits too much that uh, it's still in the good category. And we've got Red by uh, Buse. I'm not, I think that's how you say it. Uh, a deep hitting slap house track that uh, I actually surprisingly enjoyed. I hadn't liked Buse's uh, Monster Cat releases up until this point. Uh, I wouldn't say didn't like, but I didn't, I wasn't, weren't, weren't really for me, and I'm not a huge kind of slap house guy. Uh, and this one kind of hit in all the right notes. I don't know how or why, but it did. So that's why it's here in the good category. Uh, and then we've got Stay With Me by Calvin Harris, Justin Timberlake, Halsey, and Pharrell Williams, the mega collab of pop. And um, yeah, we've got those big vocalists on top of a Calvin Harris funk beat for the upcoming, I believe, Funk Waves Volume 2, something like that. And so uh, I, I like all the artists here, not gonna lie, I really do like all four. And so this is uh, very much an earworm track that I didn't like on first listen, but uh, as I listened to it a couple more times, I was like, actually, you know what? This is kind of fun. This is lighthearted and uh, it, it's, it's pretty good. So it landed in good. As we move on to Dark and Stormy by Ramesses B, a uh, very dark atmospheric track, um, and it's house. It's not DNB. It's not uh, Ramesses B's regular DNB. Um, it is. Um, it, it's pretty much a house track and great for mixes or like yeah, great for mixes or live shows. I think for sure. As we've got uh, Pew Pew by Slushy and Tokyo Machine. Uh, a tad underwhelmed from this collab, and at first I was like, hey, like, it's good, but it wasn't, like, the best. But the more I listened to it, the more I actually really liked it. It doesn't have that kind of classic Tokyo punch, uh, but I did especially love that last kind of drop dubstepy section. So, uh, yeah, not too bad. As we move on to Pillow Talk by Amanu, Wingtip, and What So Not. A uh, really great collab between these three. Uh, love the vocals. Uh, the vinyl sounds, the vinyl scratch sounds a little uh, too cliche for the kind of atmosphere of the track. Uh, but uh, otherwise, a solid uh, genre kind of defying song. So, yeah. Uh, up next, we've got Happiness, Just a Pursuit, uh, by Mick Mazu, featuring Lila Rosa. Uh, really fun, uh, like, jittery, like, uh, nostalgic vibes from this track. Uh, I didn't expect to like this one as much as I did, but uh, I, uh, all these tracks this week, maybe I was just in a really good mood, but uh, the more I listened to it, I was like, yeah, I, yeah, I take this. So, uh, Monster Cat had a great week. Uh, speaking of Monster Cat having a great week, we've got Bad For You by Ivory Hammerhead and Danny King. Uh, the Never Say Die artists are coming over to Monster Cat in droves now. And uh, this is a great dance floor DB track. Um, I love the energy and just intensity of this track. So uh, I'm excited to hear more. That's the first time I've heard of Ivory and Hammerhead. So uh, it was a welcome, welcome, welcome track. As we've got Die For You, the Dabin remix by uh, Valorant and Grabbits. Uh, Riot Games has two songs this week. We'll get to the next one soon. Uh, but yeah, Dabin did a remix of Grabbits' biggest song yet to date in collaboration with the video game Valorant from Riot Games. And uh, this remix in particular is a great mellow dub track. And I can't believe I even said that as of late. Um, but great mellow dub uh, with the original kind of rockier elements that Grabbits brings. Uh, brings the two kind of soundscapes together quite well. So great track. And we've got Carrier Signal by Kai Whiston featuring Eden, a very dark and gritty style track, a fantastic atmosphere, uh, fairly experimental, and I love that last heavy, heavy drop section uh, right before the kind of weird classic Eden outro of sorts. I don't even know what to call it. It's just kind of like, just like really glitchy and yeah, you just have to listen to it. And our last song in the good category is Light of Day by Odessa featuring uh, Alufer Arnolds. I'm, I don't think I'm saying that right at all, but uh, final track from the upcoming album, which comes out in a week from this video. Uh, I'm very intrigued for it, uh, very intrigued and excited for it. Uh, it's a very long track. I think it's Odessa's longest track to date. Um, and it's one of those kind of absorbing tracks. You can just kind of soak and just like, mm, yeah, Light of Day. And a new music video came out, which uh, has a fantastic art style. So uh, hit that up if you want to see that. Uh, and finally, our standout track of the week. We have a standout 
You guys know what it is. It's Everything Goes On by Porter Robinson and League of Legends. Also another track from Riot Games kind of this week. Uh, Porter just doesn't miss. Um, I Part of me was like, hey, you know what? Listening to this and going through Nurture, I think I like most of Nurture more than this single. Um, but I was like, okay, like it's like an average song on the Nurture, on the Nurture album. Maybe I'll put it in good, maybe not stand out. But I listened to all the rest of the tracks this week and then listened to this at the end. And I was like, oh, this is just this is just another level of it's really is like electro pop. It's not really EDM. But uh it's just, yeah, Porter is Porter's another another bean, another beast. But uh thanks for watching. I've been Botan Media. Let me know what you guys think of these songs in the comment section below. And uh I will see you guys in another video.